mile and a half from the Air Force Base. It's part of the noise here and there. The transmission was part of the engine trade I got for my 63 Rambler. Nobody wanted a transmission, doesn't do me any good. It was up for about a month and a half, nobody bought it, so it got parted out. I'm going to be doing some of these smaller teardowns and projects in between some of my larger stuff just as time permits. I've also got a, a fairly large project going on with my garage, which you'll see some of in the future. Enjoy the show! Nobody wanted the trans, like I said, so we're going to pull the transfer case shifter assembly and start pulling everything apart. Split it all up, take the guts out that I can save, and we'll end up scrapping the rest. There's a bolt lining up under this bracket, and I'm not really going to be able to show it to you. Transfer gate shifter brackets off. These can be an absolute nightmare to try to separate, so I'm going to try to take most of the transfer case apart first and get all the loose stuff out, and hopefully it'll give me a better chance of getting some of the rest of the junk out. I should have freed this bowl before I set the transfer case in neutral, but we'll see if it comes off. There's the front output shaft yoke for the uh, front different for the front drive shaft. Connector off. There's the vacuum connector off. Then we'll take the rest of the bolts out. If I'm lucky, the studs won't come with it, but we'll see. That was another Chinook flying out from the base. The other one was going to the base. That should be all the nuts. Take the Speedo drive cable off. Take the tail shaft extension housing off. Clean off some of the uh, silicone mounting it together and then just start tapping and gently pop it off. Get this piece off next. Apparently I didn't get exactly all the oil out of it. Yeah, I definitely didn't get all the oil out of it. I might do a snap ring in here, I'm not 100% sure. The clip right here might be a little hard to see, but I can't get any closer, unfortunately. And my selection of snap ring pliers isn't fantastic. At least it's up and now I can take it off. And the fun part is going to be getting it back off of this piece, so I can actually get the tail shaft off, but I had to resort to my extra junky set of snap ring pliers, but they actually uh, seem to be working. Knock on wood. I'm just going to do this pliers to make my life easier. I forgot how big a fan of snap rings I am not. No, this is not going back together. No, I'm not worried about it. This is speedometer drive here. They must be doing exercises today at the base because there's Chinooks all over the place. They're normally not quite this common. I'll get the case bolts off and we should be able to split the case. I don't have a 12.10 milliliter socket, so I'm going to see how much more fluids left in here. More fluid. Yeah, I definitely did a really bad job of draining this thing. There's a magnet to catch all the loose filings and things that come off the gearing. There's the magnet. So here's our forward facing output for the front drive shaft. Chain between them, the main shaft. There's all our shift forks. This thing's actually coming apart. I've never had one just come apart. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you too much more than taking it apart, not shifting it or anything, unfortunately. And there's our 
Bird chain. As far as I know, this came out of a, what was at least claimed to be a low mileage 89 Wrangler YJ. It certainly looks like it. Granted, this is not exactly the proper way to take it apart, but I'm not planning on reusing anything or saving any of this, unfortunately. Gearing, washer. I'm assuming there's going to be some more snap rings in here, but probably not since the case is almost apart. Walking gearing, roller sleeves. The clutch fork actuator rods go through here. Pull these bolts. Now I'm going to get that gear from the inside of this. There we go. It has seals on it. So it looks like it's just silicone in place. I've rolled the transmission over. We're going to pull the lower mount. We'll flip back over, get the bell housing off, and then start taking it apart. Take the throw out bearing out. It's a stubborn little leaflet. Here we go. Take our bell housing bolts out. Get my shop crane over here and pick up the trans just off and off so I can pull the bell housing off. Take the bolts off and hopefully separate this piece, then this piece, and then split the case. That's one freaking long bolt. Should be able to split this last output of the case now. Hopefully see how much water is in with the gear oil. ring holding the shifter in. Snap ring out. Shifter ball out. Oh, it's a ball. Flip the transmission on its side and there's one last bolt. Or stud and nut I should say out here. Now in theory we can uh, pop this sucker Loose. There's likely a pin or a clip or something that's holding this in at this point. Take the bolts apart and split the case. Most of what I've shown you so far is kind of the wrong way to do this stuff. I'm also not trying to save any of this stuff. Unfortunately, nobody wanted to buy it and it's of no use to me, so I'm scrapping it. If you have a stud that doesn't have a provision for removal, I'm gonna take two nuts and back them onto each other, which I will show you here in a second. Get them so they're tight. I have this set on low. I'm not trying to break anything. I'm just trying to get a cinch. You can tap it off with a hammer, the wrench. If you have a longer wrench or double wrench, you can pull them off. It's easier for me to hit it with a hammer, and the stud will come out. Before I have it all the way out, I like to break the nut free. Now, these studs don't have a vision to remove them. 
A lot of times you will see a stud with what looks like either an, an inverted Torx or a six-pointed fastener so you can actually remove them much easier than this so I was gonna get a prime tool in here and get the filming started but I touched it and it came apart here's our front cover I'm gonna gently try to split the case halves We're gonna have to get in back here and see what the heck is holding up. Might be something hiding in the gear well that I just can't see. Fortunately, I don't have the correct tools to take the back housing off, so it was extricated. I would never have been able to get to those Allen bolts. It took forever, but the pin's out. Now I can get to the uh, other Allen bolt. Tap a couple more pins free and then all the steel will be separated from the aluminum. There's a little floating pin in a shaft that was not allowing it to come apart. And the balls in this one not allowing it to come apart. With that it's completely disassembled. AMC Jeep PA10 Peugeot Trans has a real bad reputation for being like glass and very easy to break. Had it listed for over a month, didn't sell. That's why it's in these many pieces getting ready to get scrapped. I'm going to be splicing. I keep saying splicing. I'm. Motorcycle.